Hello everyone, welcome back to my astrology channel. I hope you all are having a good time and I really want to just take the time to thank all my subscribers, my new subscribers. Thank you very much for joining me in this journey. I really appreciate. Thank you very much. So in today's video I will be talking about the Aquarius full moon that is occurring on July 24th, 2021 and that's London time. So this Aquarius full moon is the first of the two full moons that is occurring in the same sign of Aquarius. So the first one is on the 24th of July and the second one is on the 23rd of August. Now this first uh, Aquarius full moon is occurring at about 1 degree 26 minutes Aquarius. So if you have planets in the fixed sign, Aquarius is a fixed sign, so if you have planets in the fixed sign near this degree or uh, if you have angles in uh, fixed signs, uh, you will be personally affected. You will see the effect of this full moon more on a personal level. Now, because this full moon is occurring at one degree, roughly one degree Aquarius, it's very close to the Capricorn sign as well. So if you have planets or angles in cardinal signs, you uh, should watch out as well because you will also feel the effect more on personal level. Now full moon is a very intense time because there's sun and moon opposite each other. So the sun is in the sign of Leo and the moon is in the sign of uh, Aquarius during this full moon. Now full moon is a time when the relationships or any kind of opposing forces in your life takes precedent. It is highlighted. So if you have anything in life that is kind of opposing forces and is causing you tension and obstacles in your life because you are you are not able to make up your mind which uh, side you should focus more on this full moon gives you a more clarity regarding what stand to take now opposing forces can be a relationship with with your partner or your parents or siblings or work colleagues or it could just be uh, finding a balance between your work and home life or it could be focusing on yourself versus focusing on others or it could be your personal income uh, compared to you, you know the joint income that you have so any kind of opposing forces that you have in life come becomes really highlighted during this time and you get a clarity and a more understanding to acknowledge these uh, changes and adjust and you know really um, release energies and if there's any kind of stuck energy if you feel you're stuck and you need to really break out uh, that's what full moon gives you the opportunity to do that now Aquarius in itself is a sign that signifies breakthroughs game changing really uh, breaking the mold thinking out of the box it's a very inventive and innovative and creative and really thinking out of the box kind of sign and emotionally Aquarius may even seem a bit distant though maybe inside deep inside they're not uh, that distant they are still emotional inside but outwardly they do come across as distant so during this full moon you will feel as if you're unable to exert yourself emotionally especially externally outwardly towards other people even though you're feeling very sensitive and emotional and sympathetic inside you will find a little bit difficult to exert it outwardly now in face of crisis or conflict or obstacle during this Aquarius full moon it's better to think with a logical mind and use your reasoning. Now you may feel a bit of energy draining within you if you rely too much on emotions. So in order to avoid any kind of conflict or crisis or negative feelings or any kind of disharmony in relationship or just generally in your life it's better to use more of the uh, the Aquarian kind of energy while making decision which is more logic and reason. So use your scientific reasoning to deduct and make decision rather than become too emotional about it. Now this full moon in Aquarius is the first of the two full moons that occurs in the same sign. The second one occurs on the 23rd of August which occurs at 29 degrees which is like a critical degree, a narratic degree. It is a degree of kind of ending and really Really moving to the next energy. So during this first full moon in Aquarius in July you may feel a bit more disruptive and like more obstacles you have to handle during this time and the energy may not be smooth and happy but when uh, the August 23rd uh, full moon in Aquarius occurs you will feel a little bit more easy and free flowing and more as if 
you are out of the rut, you are unst you have unstuck yourself and you're more free and you know you're more able to do things that you want to do. So the first so the first Aquarius full moon in July can be a bit uh, you know disruptive and you know not harmonious but the second one you'll feel it more uh, you know an if free flowing energy and happy energy because both the full moons are connected so anything that you start or anything that you undertake during this first full moon in Aquarius in July you will see the the things uh, you know culminating or like you know you will see some kind of outcome and result uh, or reward or whatever it is or just the mind you feel uh, mentally a bit more relaxed during the second full moon in Aquarius. Now both these Aquarius full moon energy is really perfect to do something uh, to you know really unstuck your yourself to do something that is true and authentic to yourself and uh, you know really take that uh, chance really take that risk and really think out of the box and make things happen that you uh, feel is true to yourself and you will see the energy because this energy is for the next six months and you will feel the energy um, you know uh, moving like more in a positive way for the next six months because Jupiter will be moving into back in the sign of Aquarius at the end of July so you will have Jupiter and this full moon energy both amplifying the this Aquarius energy which is freeing yourself and you know really uh, taking responsibility and uh, you know for for yourself and really moving forward to that path that brings out the authentic side of you the the genuine uh, to yourself side out now Aquarius is also also a very a world conscious and collective conscious energy so your role in the collective what is your basic identity in the collective it comes uh, also comes to the forefront so it's a great time to really find your identity and really take action on things that you want to do uh, especially the fixed signs and even the cardinal signs as well but mostly the fixed signs this is absolutely a great time for you to really uh, make some changes really a life-changing decision this is a very important time for you um, um, uh, all the fixed signs so uh, make decisions that you really feel true to yourself and really move forward because the energy is very vibing to you and it's very positive to move that in that direction you may feel a bit of obstacles and disruption currently but as you move on and you stick to your um, you know you stick to your guns and you just move in the way that you want to your most real true self um, you will be able you will be fine and you will see some good outcomes uh, you know in the next six months so do take action and you know move your life forward so now we'll discuss about the July Aquarius full moon's effect on each of the zodiac sign. Aries, for you the full moon in Aquarius occurs in your 11th house on 24th of July. Now 11th house is associated with your social circle, your friends, your peers. Also it's related to your hopes and wishes and your future plans. So a full moon occurring in the, in the sign of Aquarius in your 11th house is really giving you the opportunity to adjust and acknowledge any kind of changes that you want to make to unstuck yourself in terms of enjoying your social circle a bit more so you may have an opportunity where you're attending some kind of uh, organizational party or you know the uh, company party or just interacting with social network your peers and all this is leading to professional gain on your part so it's a great time to socialize um, for you Aries because uh, Jupiter will be in the sign at the end of July so it is it amplifies that social aspect to your life so you, it's very it's a very good time to really go and network and enjoy the party and enjoy the company of other people especially people you associate well with and you know where you are more like like-minded uh, group of people where you can really feel at home and you really can you, uh, assert yourself more fully and that can lead to some kind of professional ac accomplishment or professional gain or any kind of just moving up in life Aries. Now the July full moon is one of the first of the two Aquarius full moon that occurs this year. The first one is on 24th July, the second one on 23rd of August. So this first July Aquarius full moon you may feel a bit of 
uh, financial kind of upheaval in terms of you know just your spendings and that may lead to some kind of not able to enjoy the the events and and the the you know the what life what social life that life has to offer you know social network and your peers and any organization or company opportunity where you have to mingle and network you may not be able to do that so this first moon is really helping you to lay the foundation and uh, some kind of outcome or good news can may come on when the second uh, full moon occurs on 23rd of august so anything that you involve yourself with uh, whether it's a uh, interacting with colleagues or peers or social network or even uh, being part of a project or organization that you have really taken initiative and responsibility and you have shown your skills and, and abilities and you have put yourself forward in front of authority figure you can see the outcome the reward coming your way the first full moon is a bit of a tough full moon because it's uh, flanked by pluto and saturn um on either side so pluto is in capricorn very close to this aquarius full moon and saturn is on the other side so you may feel a bit of restriction or power struggle during this time uh, so it's a good time to really uh, utilize uh, the positivity and use your logic and reason to make decision and you will see the outcome on the 23rd of august when the full moon is much more happier and more positive free-flowing energy during the uh, the end of 20 uh, the end of august now jupiter the planet of expansion and optimism and positivity is in the sign of pisces uh, at the time on the day of the full moon but just a few days after the full moon or roughly about four uh, days after the full moon it moves back in the sign of aquarius on the 28th of july so you will see the positive uh, effect of this jupiter in your 11th house matters and you will see how your hopes and wishes your project that you're part of organization your peers colleagues social circle all these are able to give you a more positive results uh, in August. So the July full moon in Aquarius is the time to understand the bigger picture and to understand where you need to unstuck yourself, where you need to make changes, even drastic changes. Uh, Aquarius is a sign of sudden changes. It's ruled by Uranus. So it is a sign of, uh, you know, really being very scientific, logical about your, uh, uh, you know, uh, changes that you want to bring about even uh, to assert your more authentic side in whatever matter you want to uh, you know assert in and really um, bring your true self out your inner self whatever you're feeling in inside that's what you, uh, you need to really focus on you may feel a bit of an in inner tension because of the you know the uh, the outward world and the external pressure and all that so it's really important to focus on what you truly uh, desire from inside and what how you want to to assert your authentic self and this will help you unstuck you your energies and you will feel a bit more happier later in in august and you'll feel this energy when the actions taken uh, during these aquarius full moon you'll feel the energy to the you know the rest of the year uh, the rest of the you know the next six months so use this uh, really nice positive energy time this two aquarius full moons to really bring about a change or some kind of uh you know positive forward moving energies are rebooting a, a, like a re revolutionizing energy uh to really move forward and even if you have to think out of the box and take a sudden drastic uh you know a decision it may feel disruptive in the beginning but that's how you you move forward so do think about it and uh, use this energy to move forward and really assert your most auth authentic self Aries. Taurus, for you the Aquarius full moon, the July Aquarius full moon occurs in your 10th house. Now the 10th house is the house of your ambition, the house of your career and your vocation. So this is the first of the two Aquarius full moons that are occurring this year. The first one is in July and the second one is on 22nd of August. So the first full moon is a little bit more tensed full moon because it's flanked by Pluto on one side and uh, Saturn on the other side. So you might feel some sort of power struggle or, you know, limitations or restrictions 
in your career especially uh, if you're trying to make some decision about you know uh, having a bit more uh, time to yourself and a bit more time to your family because uh, fourth house is your home home life where the sun is now the opposition of 10th and 4th is your home and your work life your vocation your public status your reputation in the world and what is your emotional sta standing your emotional comfort level including your family members and your family environment so you may feel a bit of a disruptive energy in that during the first full moon so anything that you have uh, so anything that comes to uh, cl a clarification during this first full moon some anything that is you know you acknowledge or you know you are ready to make changes and you will feel see the outcome uh, during the uh, second uh, August full moon uh, in Aquarius on 22nd of August especially because Jupiter is in your uh, 11th house currently uh, during the full moon in the first full moon in Aquarius in July but after four days of this full moon it will move back in some sign of Aquarius and that's when it will bring all the positive energy in your uh, career aspect and you know uh, your vocation in life your work you know the, uh, your how you appear to the authority figure and the responsibility and any project of work responsibility that you have in life so all this will come uh, in focus and will get a positive uh, twist to it so anything that you want to instill in your life any changes that you want to make in terms of your ambition and career if you are trying to take more responsibility in your career or less responsible in your career whatever it is you will be have a better understanding and you will see the results of it uh, in august full moon now it's a good time to balance the energy with your home and work now towards the entire month of uh, uh, July you were definitely very much focused on socializing because Jupiter was in Pisces in your 11th house so any kind of social interaction and you know just mingling with people and uh, you know organization and peers and all that really was very beneficial for you because Pisces is a compatible sign uh, for you Taurus so anything that happened during this time was really useful for you and you can really use that and build up on that energy any projects you were part of any future plans that you made or you know any hopes and wishes that you have for the future and you had laid the foundation during this time uh, you will see some kind of outcome going forward especially next year because when Jupiter will be fully in Pisces but from the end of July till the rest of the year till December when Jupiter is back in Aquarius it's back your um, your career house is again getting highlighted and with this full moon the double full moon the back-to-back -back full moon in Aquarius in your 10th house so your ambition you're really feeling very ambitious and you really want to assert yourself more authentically and really true to yourself true the you know the truest nature that you have you really want to assert yourself more fully and even you're thinking out of the box so do you use your emotions to make decision but don't get too engrossed in it because logic and reason is definitely important during this Aquarius full moon because Aquarius is a sign uh, which is not much to do with emotions it's more of a distant emotionally so it's it relies more on you know your scientific logical reasoning do you think uh, what you're trying to do and what changes you're trying to make so and focus on that now it is leo season taurus so the sun is in your fourth house so your home life is definitely very much focal point during this time as well so finding a balance between both these energy is definitely required now if you're feeling any kind of internal you know conflict because of external uh, factors things that is out of your control uh, it's it's good to lead from a place of uh, uh, thinking and logically thinking and uh, this way you will be able to manage situation better and you will be able to retain your energy more if you rely more on reasoning and uh, uh, any kind of negative feeling or any kind of uh, disruptive feeling if you are getting during this time can be managed much better if you're, you're applying logic to it so the July uh, Aquarius full moon is a great time to really think about what you want to do because it's giving you better understanding more clarity full moon is a time of uh you know it, it's a culminating time it, because everything is so clear and obvious uh, so you will be you will have this opportunity to make the right decision and you will see the outcome going forward in the next six months 
So do focus on logic and really lead from a place of your true authentic self. What is it you want to assert in this world, Taurus, and uh, how you want to really come out in this world? What is your uh, reputation? What is your standing in this world? How you want to approach things in future and what kind of public image or external image you want to have so do focus on that because the entire 2021 is a lot about your career because saturn is in aquarius the entire year and jupiter is in in that house as well for the most part of the year and now with full moon there you're really coming to some kind of clarity and some kind of moving forward energy and you can use this energy now for the next six months to really accelerate things forward uh, with jupiter back in aquarius you will have that positive outcome and really you feel hopeful and optimistic about making these changes and you will see the the good luck you know the charm the good luck charm in these areas so do you focus on asserting yourself more authentically and think outside the box to make decisions regarding your career matters taurus gemini's for you the aquarius full moon occurs in your ninth house now the ninth house is to do with expansion it's your belief system it's your it's your philosophy in life it's also to do with travel higher education and just general learning and philosophies so a ninth house full moon is really opening up your mind to uh, new opportunities and to new territories and you are definitely very much eager to explore new horizons during this time. Now, the entire month of J July uh, for you Geminis have been really positive because Jupiter, the planet of expansion, was in your 10th house, in the house of your ambition, in the sign of Pisces. So you must have had some good news regarding your career options and you must have progressed uh, where, where your career is concerned. Maybe it's a promotion, a new job, or, you know, opportunities even abroad uh, that uh, may, you know, call you and you are definitely interested in those things. Now, in 2022, you will have these uh, opportunities again the repetition of all this energy the Aquarius and Pisces energy will have the repetition next year but during this full moon in Aquarius for you Gemini's you will feel very much eager to uh, take steps to explore the unknown and the future now with sun in your third house you're very communicative and uh, the entire month of july uh, mars it was in leo in your third house so you were definitely very communicative very passionate and your communication style was also very effective and inspirational to other people so this third and ninth house axis is about communication and expanding your horizon so you're definitely very much in interested in doing that especially during this first Aquarius full moon in July you will have some clarity regarding this now this Aquarius full moon is the first of the two uh, full moons that occurs in the sign of Aquarius the second one is on the 22nd of August the only thing is the f the only thing is that this first Aquarius full moon is not a much of a, a positive energy full moon because it's flanked by Pluto on one side and Saturn on the other and in terms of just uh, in terms of just uh, you, you may feel uns uh, you may feel stuck energy and you want to like really get out of that and you want to explore and uh, you know travel and explore and learn new things and even for the purpose of your job and career maybe you want to travel abroad and you want to take that opportunity abroad the career opportunity but you're unable to do that because of travel restrictions that might there might be and also saturn is a restrictive factor so you may feel travel restrictions uh, during this time and that is uh, stopping you from growing, going abroad but as Jupiter moves back in the sign of Aquarius you'll feel a little bit more energy positive energy uh, especially after 22nd of August the second full moon in Aquarius and even though you're not able to immediately go abroad you will feel some kind of movement in that area now next year is when Jupiter is in your the sign of Pisces you will see more career opportunities and you really have this uh, chance to communicate and show your skills and network and really explore and even travel abroad uh, for uh, you know future opportunities and this will be a really great time. Gemini's for you such a great time since the time Saturn and Jupiter moved into Aquarius uh, on tw on in December 2020. Not just for uh, Gemini's but also other air signs because Aquarius is an air sign and it does 
give a really positive energy to you you know really lift yourself up and move forward uh, with whatever stuck energy you have and you have such an amazing chance gemini's to really assert yourself open your mind and see the uh, you know new possibilities and uh, you know really try to assert your authentic self you know really change your uh, improve or you know change your philosophies improve your belief system and be open to other things rather than just being in one place and you are very much eager to do that and this aquarius full moon especially the second aquarius full moon you will have some more opportunity and you will be feel a bit more freer to take these decisions and this can be in terms of travel in terms of even education if you want to learn something higher education you will have a better uh, you know better understanding more clarity as you know as you move forward after august end of august so gemini's don't lose hope you will feel a uh, more upward movement definitely and especially uh, where your plans are concerned your future plans and exploring new territories are concerned you will definitely feel a bit more energized and uh, feel more positive to take those steps so gemini's do see past any kind of limitations or obstacles that you, you might feel in your belief system and just future opportunities uh, that might present to you if you feel there is kind of obstacle in uh, you taking those steps toward in that direction then think more from a logical and prepare yourself because in months to come you will have um, you know a more clarity and you will have the uh, more positive outcomes uh, as you move uh, you know into the year into the second part of the last part of the year so you will see more positive outcomes so stay uh, positive stay focused and move in that direction and you will definitely see positive outcomes to come cancer for you the full moon in aquarius occurs in your eighth house now eighth house is the house of intimacy it's the house of your joint finances it's a house of uh, your trust and commitment comes into play so full moon occurring in the sign of aquarius in your eighth house is kind of a more of a tense uh, full moon because it's flanked by Pluto on one side and a uh, Saturn on the other so Pluto is more about power struggles in the in the areas where it it sits and uh, Saturn is limitations and, and structure and you know uh, re restriction in that area so you may feel uh, these themes during the the first full moon in Aquarius on the 24th of July in your financial matters especially joint finances and any social finances that you might be getting whether it's through loans or through a scholarship or a divorce settlement any kind of money that is coming your way you may feel a bit of restriction in that or you may feel that it has completely stopped uh, so you may have some kind of financial crisis upheaval in terms of uh, joint finances now the effect of this of this film on your social finances will also have a repercussions on your emotional setting where intimacy and trust and commitment is concerned with your partner so this full moon will give you a chance to acknowledge and uh, see more clearly what's happening in your intimate uh, life and if your emotional and financial needs are being met. Now this is the first of the two Aquarius full moon that's occurring in the year 2021. The second one is on the 22nd of August. So the second uh, full moon is a bit more happy free flowing energy. Your finances and your intimacy, intimacy uh, later on in August and also moving forward uh, for the rest of the year because Jupiter will be back in your 8th house after the end of July. During the full moon it's, it will be the sign of Pisces which is in your 9th house but um, you will have that energy the positive energy in your finances and your commitment and your trust factor in your intimate life in the last part of this year from august onwards so cancer what this full moon is asking you to take notice of is your uh relationship it's your relationship with your partner your any kind of intimate relationship and that's not just 
the spousal relationship any intimate relationship that you might it could be business a uh, partnership or it could be work related or it could be a uh, relationship with your parents siblings anything that is very close uh, you you'll have to take notice of this and these areas will be highlighted during this time so you'll have to use your reasoning and logic to take decisions because if you are making decision based on emotions especially during the Aquarius full moon you will feel a drain of energy and you might have a feeling of disharmony and you know negative feelings around this time especially in terms of your finances so keep your mind more logical and you know reason with what you are trying to uh, understand and what you're trying to acknowledge and adjust in terms of your finances joint finances and your you know your commitment level and all that so lead from a more of a logical standpoint than emotional standpoint now during this first full moon on 24th of July Mars is in your second house in the house of your financial your personal finance so you there is a lot of action happening in there and you might be uh, called to make a budget and financial plan regarding your financial finances otherwise you might seem uh, kind of a depleting energy in your finances or you know kind of a crisis in your finances so towards the end of the month of July you'll have more of a kind of a relax and reprieve kind of feeling post that because Mars moves out of your second house goes into your third house of communication when you have you're able to use your communication uh, in your intimate life and use your mind and ideas to solve issues and use your logic and understanding and reasoning to really uh, you know take things forward so it's a it's a really good energy moving forward um, from August but this uh, July uh, Aquarius full moon on the 24th may be a sort of a kind of a, uh, a uncomfortable disruptive energy but Aquarius is about uh, breaking the norm and really you know um, game changing and also like uh, uh, turning things around where the, these energies are stuck so if you feel that in your finances and your intimate life things are stuck and it's not moving forward so it's a good opportunity to really uh, change things and you know change it for the better change it for what you really want in your intimate life assert your authentic self your true uh, feelings whatever you have express it and you will have this opportunity with Mars in your third house you will have this impulsive and really communicative energy the positive communicative energy to really take things forward in terms of having a better understanding in your intimate life with your spouse or anybody who is uh, you know you're in a close ties so and your finances will improve uh, post the full moon especially after the August 22nd the second full moon in Aquarius so cancer keep an eye on your finances during this full moon and you will see some positive result and outcome post the August full moon and for the rest of the year Leo's for you the full moon in Aquarius occurs in your seventh house now the seventh house is the house of one-to-one -one interaction one-to-one -one ties also your partnership any partnership whether it's your spousal partnership romantic partnership personal partnership or business partnership so any one-to-one -one interaction that you have and it could be even related to your uh, work colleagues or you know your parents siblings any one-to-one -one interaction that you have comes under the seventh house matter now full moon in Aquarius in your seventh house is giving you more clarity about the seventh house matter now this Aquarius full moon is one of the first two full moons that occurs in the same sign the second one will happen on the 22nd of August the first Aquarius full moon is a little bit more disruptive and not as free-flowing as the second Aquarius full moon in August is so you may feel a bit of kind of a challenges and obstacles in terms of partnership or interactions one-to-one -one interaction that you have in your life so if you want to like if you want to break away from a partnership or a business partnership partnership or even you're like you if you are in a work environment and you want to leave your work and you want to uh, you know move away from your work colleagues or anything like that you will f may feel some challenges uh, from them so uh, just stay put and use your logic and reason uh, to make decision during this time now if you depend too much on emotions it might not have a desired result as logic and reason would because Aquarius is a, a more of a emotionally distant sign it's not 
much it doesn't do well much when when emotions are involved uh, though they can be very deeply emotional as well deep within but outwardly they are more distant when where emotions are concerned so they rely more on in, uh, logic and reason so lead more from uh, the logical and reasoning based point of view rather than emotions and you'll be fine now the second aquarius full moon that occurs in august is much more happier and free flowing and you will have uh, better results in terms of partnership even if you're moving uh, you know away or moving on from something uh, you will have a much more relaxed kind of atmosphere and energy will be a little bit more positive and happy now leo's mars is in your sign during this full moon and will remain in there for a, like four to five days after the full moon as well so you are feeling very energized now mars has been in your sign since last couple of months already so you're already feeling the energy and passion you're really feeling the eagerness and desire to make some changes in your life and it is a, this is a very good time to set that pattern the uh, the goals and ambition that you have uh, Leo's for the next two years it's a really good time to really put down the plan whatever you want to do just really put them in action as well and really uh, work on it and really work hard and really move forward with it because uh, Leo's Mars does not come in the first house uh, very often it comes for once in two years so this is your opportunity to really use this and really work this energy because Mars is a very uh, because Mars is the energy that makes things happen it puts you in action mode and it really really drives you and really gives you the passion and energy to really make things happen and with Mars in your first house all your angles get activated so the entire life gets activated all aspects of life whether it's your home environment your partnership your career everything gets activated so it's a great time to reset some kind of pattern in in these areas whatever you're trying to accomplish and you know whatever initiatives you want to you're trying to take it's a it's an absolutely amazing time to do that now now jupiter will move back in the sign of aquarius towards the end of july and for the next uh, rest of the year so you will feel a little bit more positive energy where your partnership is concerned and where your business partnership and one-to-one -one interaction is concerned you'll feel a bit more positive energy uh, post August and rest of the year now this may mean that the partnership that you have marriage or you know the spousal relationship that you have becomes more stronger if it's already on a solid ground and this may also lead to a more commitment based partnership like a marriage or you know moving in together so all these are there Leo's now Leo's full moon is definitely a very culminating and releasing and like clarifying kind of energy it gives you more uh, you know knowledge and understanding of what's going on so you're definitely getting a better understanding of partnership and how you can refocus your energy to make it better to improve it if that's what you want to do or if you're not in that place to improve it and it's a toxic relationship then you will be you, then you will have better understanding to move on from that so leos do focus your energies on what you want to do and what your internal needs are now if you're feeling any kind of internal conflict because of outward external pressure uh, it's the best idea is to lead from your logical point of view rather than emotional point of view during this time full moon is a time where opposite aspects of life come into force and you know things become highlighted which is opposing so with seventh house full moon the relationship with others and relationship with yourself comes into focus because sun is in the sign of leo in your first house with mars in there so you're definitely feeling very much energized to have this personal identity and you know move forward on your personal destiny and it's a good idea to balance it out with partnership because any kind of solid relationship that you have it's better to build on those because these are the ones that will come to your support and help when you need them in future so um, keep in mind that uh, if it's a solid relationship and it's a good relationship it's something you can improve on build upon it's a great energy jupiter brings that positive energized uh, optimistic energy lucky energy to really um, you know uh, build on the partnership that you have so Leo's with Mars and Sun in your first house during this full moon, you're definitely on a personal path, a personal life path, personal uh, destiny, what you want, personal goals and ambition that you have. You're definitely focused on that, but it's a good idea to balance it out with, with the partnership. 
and the business partnership or anything that that is you know the one-to-one -one interactions that you have in your life so don't be just focused on yourself uh it's best to find a balance between the, both the energies leos virgos for you the aquarius full moon occurs in your sixth house and that is on the 24th of july 2021 and it is the first of the two Aquarius full moon that is occurring this year. So there's a back-to-back -back Aquarius full moon, one in July and the other one is in August, on 22nd of August. So Virgos, your sixth house is getting illuminated, which is your work house. So the first Aquarius full moon is a bit troubling and disruptive kind of energy because it's flanked by Pluto on one side and Saturn on the other side. So it's getting the disruptive and limiting energies of both these planets. So you might experience some kind of power struggle in work environment and also some kind of limitation and restricting uh, factor in your work environment. So watch out for your health because your health can get affected due to a lot of responsibility and pressure at work. So be careful of exerting to a limit that you're not affecting your health. Your health is not getting adversely affected due to this extreme pressure of work in your daily life and your work in your job uh, environment. So just be mindful of that. So Virgo's this first Aquarius lunation on 24th of July can also mean a change of job or ending of a job or you are look going into a another job uh, situation or you're leaving the current job and you are applying for another job or you're changing your hours, uh, whatever may be. So some kind of disruptive energy is going on in your work environment and in your daily life as well. So your daily life, your what you do on a daily basis, your routine may get disrupted. And as a result, because you're exerting so much, you have so much responsibility on you or you have taken on so much responsibility, you feel the effect, the negative effect of it on your health and your well-being. So be careful you're not overexerting and find a balance between your work and health so that you're able to manage both uh, equally well. Now full moon is an energy that leads to culmination and releasing and clarity in the area wherever it sits. So in your sixth house you will have a better understanding of what you want from your daily life, your, from your job and from your health. Now, if you've got authority figures that is troubling you and is uh, you are loaded with too much responsibility at work and you're the only one who is exerting hard enough uh, and you're really uh, giving yourself too much into your work, uh, you may feel that it's time to move on and you may take that step into resigning the job or, or at least start looking for another job and you might find some kind of a positive outcome by the second uh, Aquarius uh, full moon in August. So if you do uh, feel that you need to move on because your health is getting affected, then it's a good time to initiate, a good time to really uh, look into the, these, fact, these matters and you know take steps towards whatever you want to achieve. Now Virgo's Mars is in your 12th house on the day of the full moon, but it moves in your sign, in the sign of Virgo towards the end of the month of July. So after that, you will feel a little bit more energized to take action and you'll feel the passion and really the desire to turn things around in your life post that. Now until the time Mars is in your 12th house, you feel a little bit maybe a low energy or your immunity, your immune system may not be functioning as you would like. So keep a watch on your health and your healing process and your well-being. So it's very important to not exert too much at your work and just in your daily life as well. It's not necessarily just in your work environment. In your daily life, you may be exerting too much as well. So have a health regime, a exercise plan, and a, you know the, the food that you eat, the diet, so that you're living a healthy life Life and it's not affecting your health because you are working so hard. Now from the end of July when Mars moves in your first house you'll feel a little bit more energized and to bring in the changes that you want to uh, bring for the, for the rest of the year. Now Jupiter is in your house of partnership that is the seventh house until after uh, the full moon like a couple few days after the full moon it's still in your seventh house so it's really energizing your partnership and really giving you a lot of good experience in terms of your partnership and one-to-one -one interactions. 
So you may really feel a positive energy in terms of partnership. You may even come across somebody that you would like to build a relationship on. So it's really good energy to connect with people. Now towards the end of the month of July, Jupiter will move back into the sign of Aquarius for the rest of the year in your sixth house. So it's back to your work and professional front. So again, these themes comes into focus. So you will then feel a little bit more optimistic and hopeful about your work uh, situation and things may ease up and you know uh, you will feel a little bit more um, positive change you'll see positive change you feel more relaxed in your in your work environment so Virgos it is a very busy time time for you during the full moon in Aquarius on 24th of July but moving on you'll feel a bit more relaxed and optimistic and you'll get good results in terms of your work uh, for the for the rest of the year Libras, for you the full moon in Aquarius occurs in your fifth house. Now fifth house is a house of love, romance, fun activities. It's a house of your children, offspring and all, everything, all matters related to heart, you know, uh, matters of the heart, things that you're passionate about and things that you want to express authentically. So that's what the fifth house uh, deals with. Now full moon is a time of clarity, understanding, great understanding. It's a time of culmination, releasing, and also could be a turning point in your life. Now in the fifth house, anything that you're passionate about comes to the forefront and is highlighted. So this could mean that you have to deal with some kind of difficult circumstances related to your love life or your children, or uh, maybe they're struggling and they need help. So things like this can pop up during this full moon on the 24th of July. Now this Aquarius full moon is the first of the two back-to-back -back full moons that is occurring uh, this year. The first one is 24th July, the second is on the 22nd of August. So the first full moon is flanked by Pluto and Saturn on either side. So it is a very difficult, heavy, intense kind of full moon. But the 22nd August full moon is more free flowing and happy energy. So anything you feel during this full moon, the July full moon, that it's difficult to deal with or you're not having an easy time, you will feel a little bit lot more easy and relaxed during the second Aquarius full moon. Now Jupiter also moves into the sign of Aquarius on the 28th of July, just after, just a few days after the Aquarius full moon in July. So Jupiter during the time of this full moon is in the sign of Pisces, but it moves back in Aquarius. Now that will definitely help to save the day and really help you uh, feel a little bit more relaxed and more hopeful and optimistic about fifth house matters regarding your children, your love life or anything related to your passion and interest. Just basically your uh, daily life in terms of your fun side of it and you know a delightful side of it. So anything that brings joy to you and uh, you know is a fun filled activity uh, that you want to indulge in. There will be chance a little bit more to do these things uh, in August uh, compared to end of July. Now when the Jupiter is back in the fifth house uh, along with this full moon, the two full moons that is uh, occurring, uh, you can expect some pregnancy news or uh, you know news related to your parenthood or that you're becoming a parent. I mean if that's what you are hoping for, that's what you're aiming of. If you're not aiming uh, to uh, you know if you're not aiming to having children then it could be related to your love life or just generally things you're doing on more passion and creative level it could be creative projects or anything like that you could hear news about that or you know something could be happening in these areas so uh, this full moon and in with Jupiter is definitely uh, facilitating and helping and really bringing out the best uh, in August but the first full moon is a little bit heavy and difficult full moon so just be uh, more mindful about it to understand this energy and use this information to you know be aware because full moon is about awareness it's about recognizing where change needs to be made and if there's any kind of stuck energy how you can uh, move on and make it better and so do think out of the box to make, bring about any change in life during this full moon in Aquarius. Now Libra's Aquarius is a sign that is 
a bit more distant emotionally. They may feel the emotions deep within, but outwardly they are a little bit more distant and do not express their emotions openly. So this full moon in Aquarius is asking you to make decisions or changes that you want to make. Uh, make it based more on logic and reason rather than emotions. So don't just get carried away by emotions. Think about it uh, intensely and really analyze what kind of changes you want to make and what path do you want to take. And Jupiter that moves back into your fifth house on 28th of July is also helping you in this process. Now until the 28th of July and during this full moon on the 24th of July, Jupiter will be in your sixth house in the sign of Pisces. So it is helping you a bit uh, regarding your job, your work life, your daily routine, your health and all that. So uh, it kind of is a very optimistic energy and you must be feeling some kind of uh, blessing and ease and happiness in your employment. So uh, that theme is definitely there. Now when it moves back to fifth house, your fifth house matter is gets a little bit uh, more ease and relaxed, especially uh, after uh, the, uh, the end of July and into the month of August and for the next uh, through the end of the year. So look out for that and second Aquarius full moon that occurs on 22nd of August will be a little bit more happy and easy flowing for you and more harmonious energy for you Libras. So with so much concentrated energy in your fifth house post the full moon in Aquarius on 24th of July it's a good time to also put yourself out there and you know mingle with people connect with people and you might find a love relationship that can uh, blossom as a result of that you may come across somebody that you really feel connected and you really can relate with them and you can you you, you may think that this is pers the person you can go ahead with so do put yourself out there and do mingle and connect and express yourself authentically and creatively Libras because it's a really great creative and expansive energy for the rest of the year after this full moon in Aquarius after the two full moons in Aquarius for the rest of the year your, your fifth house is really blossoming and you have really this opportunity to really enjoy and indulge in fun-filled activities and delightful activities with your children as well so um, you know take them out and you know really have fun with them Libras. Scorpios, for you the full moon in Aquarius on the 24th of July occurs in your fourth house. Now fourth house is the house of your home, family environment, family members, your own emotional setup, your safety level, security where you feel comfort, emotional comfort in. And also it uh, fourth house deals with uh, home and house and real estate as well. So during this full moon in Aquarius all these domestic concerns are highlighted in your life Aquarius Scorpio. So you are definitely very much, your energy is definitely going a lot in your domestic concern and domestic matters. Now, because this full moon is flanked by Pluto on one side and Saturn on the other side, uh, you may feel a bit of a power struggle in family, in, in the domestic environment or limitations and restrictions in your own self like you're not able to uh, do what you want to do or you're not able you're not feeling emotionally stable or happy uh, during the full moon in Aquarius the first one now there are two full moons in Aquarius occurring this year uh, two back-to-back -back full moons in Aquarius uh, the first one is on 24th of July and the second one is on 22nd of August now the 22nd August full moon in Aquarius is much more easy and free-flowing and more harmonious energy compared to the first full moon the July one so you will feel a little bit more at ease during the second full moon in Aquarius Scorpios now Jupiter also moves in back in your fourth house because currently uh, during this full moon the July one it's in your fifth house but just towards the end of the month on the 28th of July it moves back into your fourth house in the sign of Aquarius for the rest of the year so you can feel a lot more blissful and blessings and expansive and you know opportunity and optimism in your home environment so if you're looking to um, change house or if you're looking to uh, renovate or you know bring in a nice a positive energy within your family environment with your family members 
uh, then you you have this opportunity to do uh, to achieve that so just be aware during this first full moon uh, Scorpios that uh, things will get better so just uh, keep uh, calm and you know uh, analyze the situation and refocus your energy so that you are a little bit more in a positive mindset though it might be a little bit uh, uneasy and difficult and disruptive during the first full moon in the July uh, full moon uh, but going on you know moving on into the August you will feel a lot more at ease now Scorpio's Mars will be in your 10th house uh, in the sign of Leo uh, during the this full moon and until the until the end of uh, July on the 29th of July it moves uh, in the sign of Virgo but until then you uh, will feel a lot more energy and uh, movement in terms of your career and professional life so you might be uh, so you might see you know achievements accomplishments things that you're working for you are seeing the outcome and you're really energized to perform in your career now it now if you're not particularly happy with your career then you might also feel the need or and the urge to move on and change your career situation so both the energies are there so if you're happy with your career it's it's a really good energy to uh, you know accomplish things and if you're not happy it's a good it's a turning point energy it's a, it's a good energy to you know change something and do something that you're happy with now Venus and Mars both will be in your 11th house after this full moon in Aquarius uh, just a few days after uh, for this full moon Venus moves into your uh, in, into the sign of Virgo in your 11th house on the 21st of July so it will be uh, in your 11th house around this full moon and Mars will join Venus uh, on the 29th of July in the same house 11th house so your social life and your you know social persona really will be shining and you will really be connecting with people more on a uh, you know energized level and you will be able to put your best foot forward people will see you more for what you are in the best light possible because Venus Mars together is a really it's like a yin yang energy and, and it really helps in achieving the goals of that house which is 11th house which is which is to do with your future your future projects any hopes and wishes that you have whatever you desire whatever you want you have a, this really good chance until the mid of september to achieve that with mars in there so uh, use this energy to move forward so scorpio is definitely the first full moon in aquarius in july may not be a, a easy going and uh a, you know positive energy it may be a bit disrupted maybe a bit disruptive but moving on from the second full moon 22nd august onwards you will definitely feel more energized and more positive and optimistic for the rest of the year and definitely you have a lot more good news coming in 2022 so scorpius it's really a good time to proceed with whatever you want to proceed with and things will happen later on in the year so stay put Sagitt sagittarius for you, the full moon in Aquarius occurs in your third house. Now, third house is the house of communication. It's the house of networking, your siblings, and just your local community and any kind of um, endeavors on a contractual level. So Sagittarius, the 24th July uh, full moon in Aquarius is first of the two full moons that's occurring in the same sign of Aquarius. The second one is on the 22nd of August. Now, the first full moon is not as easy going as the second 22nd august full moon will be so the first moon is a little bit more heavy and disruptive so you may feel that the the stakes are quite high in your in your networking in your communication the way you communicate and you know any kind of contractual agreements that you have may be ending as well so because full moon is about culmination and releasing so if you're any kind of job situation uh, any kind of contract that you are you that may be ending and you may be moving on to something else in in the future in the near future now Sagittarius Jupiter your ruling planets is in your fourth house until 28th of July and during this full moon so your domestic environment is definitely getting highlighted and you're feeling a lot more blessing and your home environment is more happy and fulfilling for you but from the 28th of July it moves back in your third house of networking and communication so uh, with the full moon going on especially the second full moon in Aquarius and Jupiter back in the third house you will feel a lot more energy in terms of uh, seeing your profile rise and really growing in terms of your contractual networking and your communication style so you will you will so you'll you will come across as very inspired and energetic where your communication is and if you are any kind of 
And if you're moving on to a different contract or a job or anything, uh, you know, a, a new profile in life or a new company, you will feel that energy. You'll feel that energy that you're much more effective and inspired to perform uh, during this time, especially uh, from August onwards and to, uh, till the end of this year when Jupiter is in the sign of Aquarius in your third house until the end of uh, 2021. Now, Sagittarius Mars is in the ninth house until 29th of July, and during this full moon, Mars will be in your ninth house. So, you will definitely feel the need to expand, and any future goals or aspirations that you have, you will definitely uh, feel a little more energy there, and you really want to achieve something that is more in the future, and you have your goals and ambitions. You really want to really work towards that, because after 29th of July, when it moves into your tenth house, it will meet Venus in your tenth house. Venus moves in your 10th house on the on the 21st of July and during this full moon will be in your 10th house so your career and your professional life is really blossoming Sagittarius and you are seeing the accomplishments the achievements especially the the hard work that you have put you'll see your profile rise and you will see all the things that you have put in the hard work that you have put in you will see the outcome and the rewards coming in so you will be in a much better place if professionally and just emotionally as well um, going forward. So you will see your profile rise, your uh, impact in your professional arena and you know your career, your with the authority figures, all this is rising. You're taking on more responsibilities as well and you're really happy to take that responsibility because you really want to show what you're made of and your skills and capabilities and your communication is also quite effective and inspiring and you're really using all this energy to rise in life and you will rise in life because the next for because the rest of the year is quite good energy in terms of your communication and until the mid of September it's really good time to uh, really raise your career prospects uh, Sagittarius because you will come across as very energized and very appealing to people because they will take notice the authority figure will be taking notice of you and will see your work and you will see your status in the in the industry and the, whichever industry you are in will rise especially if you are communicating over social media or if it's something to do with communication something to do with writing and speaking you will really see yourself rise uh, Sagittarius so do take this opportunity to indulge in in these areas and especially after the the first full moon the energy may not be free flowing and happy during the first Aquarius full moon but it will get better as the time moves on especially till the end of the year Sagittarius Capricorn for you the full moon in Aquarius occurs in your second house now the second house is the house of your personal value your possession your income your self-worth the full moon occurring in your second house shows us some kind of turning point regarding your finances now there is two back-to-back -back aquarius full moon occurring this year first is on the 24th of july and the second one on the 22nd of august now the first full moon in aquarius on 24 july is not a happy uh, full moon it's a, a more of a disruptive energy because it's flanked by pluto on one side and saturn on the other side so you may feel some sort of restrictions and you know uh, limitations in your finances but moving on towards the uh, August and the rest of the year especially when Jupiter is back in your uh, second house you will feel the energy and you'll feel more fortunate and blessed in your financial matters now during this July full moon Jupiter is in your third house in the sign of Pisces for your Capricorns so your communication is definitely a bit more uh, inspired and effective and you're more passionate so you're definitely and you feel a little bit more fortunate in terms of if you are doing any kind of writing or speaking or marketing any kind of communication based uh, activity or if you are in an industrial career that is related to this you feel a little bit more energized and happy and lucky uh, in these areas now now third house is also about uh, building up your cv and your credentials and your profile so it's a good time to work on these themes as well so if you want to redo your cv or your credential or you want to raise your profile it's a great time until the 28th of july to work on that and then you can use this energy the what you the work you have put it now next year in 2022 when jupiter is back in pisces in your third house now until then your finances your second house matter is definitely going through a culmination a, you know a change so uh, and post the 
and post the July uh, full moon in Aquarius, uh, especially moving on from August full moon and to the next rest of the year, you will feel the energy more positive and you'll feel your, your money uh, situation, your financial situation is much more uh, positive than you will feel in the July full moon. Now Capricorns, Mars and Venus will also be in your uh, ninth house uh, after the full moon. Mars moves into your ninth house on 29th of July and Venus will be in your ninth house from 21st of July. So during the full moon, you have Venus there. So Venus and Mars energy together, especially after the full moon, uh, you will feel a little bit more energized and hopeful about expanding your yourself in terms of your uh, horizon and scope of life. And you're definitely very much future focused, your goals and ambition, your future plans, whatever you are, you're definitely very energized to take steps towards that. Now combined with your communication skills and the credentials, and the profile that you have raised during the time of Jupiter in third house with the ninth house and energy of Mars and Venus uh, when you're more future focused and you are you want to really expand your horizon uh, this energy is great to really uh, step up in life and really use the hard work and the skills and capabilities that you have to take the next step and Capricorns the work that you put in during this year especially during this full moon in Aquarius and the second full moon in Aquarius and the rest of the year you will see the uh, result a little bit more uh, you know more um, fortunate happenings in your life in the next year when Pisces when Jupiter is back in the sign of Pisces in your third house where which is about communication and networking and you know putting yourself out there and mingling and connecting with people and even if whether it's one-to-one -one basis or on social media uh, whichever be it uh, you will really feel energized to do that and all this will help you improve your finances as well but during the July full moon you have to keep a, an eye on your finances because they can me expenses or some kind of uh, uh, depletion in your finances and you may be concerned and disrupted by the financial situation during the first full moon but as soon as Jupiter moves back in your second house you'll be more optimistic and, and really happy about what's going on in your life and going forward the rest of the year so uh, be aware and analyze your situation and make a budget if you're concerned about your finances especially in July, just keep a budget, keep a very uh, tight hold on your finances so that you don't uh, get, end up in a crisis or upheaval, especially finance related. So keep an eye on your finances and you'll be in a much better position uh, the rest of the year. Capricorns. Aquarius, for you, the full moon in Aquarius occurs in your first house. It's a really good time for you, Aquarius. It's a time of blessing. Now there is two full moon that is going to occur in the sign of Aquarius this year. There's a back to back two full moons. The first one is on the 24th of July and the second one is on the 22nd of August. Now the first full moon is not uh, as easy as the second one. So the first one you may feel a bit more disruptive energy and more uh, uneasy energy during the first full moon on 24th of July because this full moon is flanked by Pl Pluto and Saturn. So you might feel limitations and restriction in terms of your personal identity and your you know life path or whatever you want to achieve on a sol solo level so you might feel a little bit uneasy there also during this full moon sun is in the sign of leo in your seventh house so any kind of commitment or contractual partnership that you have in life comes to forth as well they all are highlighted so what this full moon in aquarius means is that you need to find a balance between yourself and others aquarius now this is not a great time for solo endeavors or just doing things by yourself it's a good time to find somebody, someone you can work with and or a team you can work with and work uh, together and you can achieve more. So Aquarius, if you have anything that you're passionate about or anything that you have been working on for a long time and you really want to move things forward, it's, it's a good idea to work in, in partnership with other people, somebody who you can rely on and you will see the result uh, or you will be able to steer this disruptive energy of the first Aquarius 
graceful moon in a more uh, effective way and more uh, in, you will be able to control the situation much better now when Jupiter moves in your first house after the 28th of July you will feel a little more energized and optimistic and you'll see the blessings coming your way in a more free-flowing way uh, especially from there till the end of the year when Jupiter is back in the sign of Aquarius now during this full moon it is in your second house so you are getting the opportunity to earn more so you may feel the prosperity and money uh, coming your way but you will feel this energy more in next year 2022 when Jupiter fully moves in the sign of Pisces but until then uh, from August onwards from end of July until the next uh, until the end of the year you'll feel a little bit more optimistic and blessed because it's in your first house and it's really energizing your self and your whole uh, you know personality and identity you really want to um, make things happen things especially that you were working on or things that you uh, really want to achieve you know your goals and ambition whatever you have you really focused on that and things and you will see positive outcome of these things going forward uh, Aquarius so now Aquarius Sun is in the sign of Leo during the full moon and Mars is also there until the end of July so you will feel the need for uh, working together in a team or in association with others maybe a one-to-one -one. it doesn't need to be a big team it could just be a one person that you're interacting with and you're working in partnership to achieve things you know whatever your goals you have you you are working more together rather than separately now seventh house energy is not necessarily just about working together it's also to do with sharing ideas so if you got ideas that you want to uh, to you know express uh, to somebody or share with somebody and get opinion on it it's a good time to you know uh, have that discussion with whomever you rely on whom whoever your partner is uh, whether it's personal partner or, or business partner either way so you will you can use this energy and you will really feel that this is a great time to not just depend on your own self but also use the uh, input of other people in your life that you can really vibe with and you're on the same uh, you know frequency level and you're like-minded so if there is somebody in your life where you can have discussion and you know share ideas and uh, work together then it's a great time to do that but again of course if there's nobody don't worry about it moving forward once Jupiter is in your first house you are again energized to do things by yourself and you can achieve your personal destiny whatever goals you have uh, by your own solo effort so Aquarius the first full moon energy may be disruptive and may involve limitations or power play but don't worry about it because moving forward you will feel uh, more optimistic and hopeful and you'll feel the energy more in tune with your own and you will be able to achieve whatever goals you have and especially the ones that you're working for quite some time Aquarius Pisces for you the Aquarius full moon occurs in your 12th house now 12th house is the house of solitude it's the house of past pattern closures and also your subconscious it's a t it's a house where you take retreat and relax and spend time prepping um, more than taking action it's not an action oriented house it's more of a time when you are retreating and relaxing and recharging your batteries to take action uh, when plants move in your first house so Pisces during this full moon in Aquarius you may feel a bit mentally drained and fatigued more on mental level you may feel uh, a bit low in energy as well because this first full moon in Aquarius there will be two full moon in Aquarius this year uh, the first one is on 24th of July and the second on the 22nd of August the first one is a bit of a disruptive energy because there's Pluto and Saturn on either side of the full moon and it brings about limitations and restriction in the house matter so you may feel a bit more drained tired low energy or uh, needing a solitude and you know a more quiet time to yourself but the second full moon in Aquarius on 22nd of July is much more energized and free-flowing so you will feel a little bit a better outcome around that time now Pisces Jupiter is in your first house during the full moon but it moves back in the 12th house on the 28th of July so until 28th of July it's in your first 
house and it's really energizing you and really bringing luck and blessing in your life and all aspects of life but after that it moves back in your 12th house so again it brings up themes of solitude and retreat and you know relaxing and taking time to recharge your batteries so this jupiter in your 12th house will help you to relax more and really will calm your nerves which may have caused some kind of disruption due to the full moon in Aquarius, uh, your mental health and just well-being, uh, your healing process uh, may be disrupted during the full moon. But this when Jupiter returns back in the sign of Aquarius in your 12th house, you feel a little bit more calmer and you can really relax a little bit more and take time for yourself and have quiet time, quiet hours to recharge your batteries. So Pisces, until the 28th of July and during this full moon in Aquarius, Jupiter is in your first house. So it's a great time to really assert what you want and really move forward with whatever idea you have of yourself, of your personal destiny, life path, or whatever you want to achieve in life, your goals and ambitions, whatever you have on personal level. It's a great time to take action in these areas. And next year in 2022, when Jupiter fully moves into Pisces, you will have the opportunity, more opportunity to take uh, whatever your personal agenda is, uh, take these things forward. So Pisces, then it will be a really great time to dream big and really go after the goals and ambition you have. And you will definitely be able to achieve whatever you want for yourself. Now Pisces, Venus will be in your seventh house during this full moon and Mars will be moving in your seventh house just a few days after this full moon towards the end of July. So a lot of themes regarding partnership and interactions, one-to-one -one interactions. And this partnership can be a personal business or any kind of one-to-one -one interaction that you have in life, your close ties. Uh, all these themes will uh, get a bit of highlight during this time because you are ready to assert your energy in there. And there's a lot of positive vibe uh, regarding your partnership. So if you are in a committed relationship, you will be very much eager to, you know, add some more energy to it and, you know, really spice it up and really, you know, bring some uh, positive um, energy to it. Now, if you are not in a committed relationship yet or you're not married yet, you may, this Mars and Venus may make you want to get married and have that stable uh, marriage or even uh, if not marriage they you may want to move together or just uh, you may want to you know change the dynamic of your partnership make it more positive and you know really look into what the what the other person wants really look into their needs and expectation as well and you will be very energized to do that so pisces for you July Aquarius full moon may be disruptive and you may feel a little bit mentally fatigued during this time but moving forward and the rest of the year you'll feel a bit more energized to do things more with others and it's a good idea to do things with others rather than do it by yourself especially until the mid of September when Mars Venus is in your seventh house so definitely do things together and really uh, strengthen your commitment zone uh, Pisces and when Jupiter returns back to 12th house in the sign of Aquarius it, uh, from the end of July till the rest of the year you'll feel uh, more healed or you will be able to focus more on your well-being and your healing process and you know you may have closures in your life and if anything is not going well and is causing you um, you know mentally is, is disturbing you things will smooth out in the later part of the year so stay put uh, Pisces and things will get better and things will get better towards the later part of the year and next year 2022 it's a time of blessing and a new beginning for you pisces next year 2022 and you may have got a taste of it uh, during the May to July, uh, uh, Jupiter's ingress in the sign of Pisces. But 20, but the second ingress, when it really finally moves, will be more positive and you'll feel more energized to take things forward. So Pisces, don't hold yourself back and really go after whatever you desire. So this was my full moon in Aquarius video. Thank you very much for watching this. I hope the content provided by me in this video is useful and you're able to use this to create some awareness in your life and to use it to you know live more consciously and you know steer yourself in life more consciously uh, thank you very much